Hey there, Tony Policastro here with the Acoustic Letter brought to you by Music Villa. Today we're going to have a look at an HD35 that celebrates Chris Martin's 60th birthday. But before we do so, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about certain guitars being for certain types of play. That being the case, I've created an Acoustic Guitar Buyer's Guide, which I'll tell you how to get at the end of this review. On to this HD35, the celebratory birthday bash HD35. This is a cool instrument and it sounds really, really good. HD35s generally have a lot of bass and this one is no exception. And with the certain top that they used and the certain treatment that they gave it, I think it's, it's a totally killer, killer guitar. And it celebrates Chris Martin's 60th birthday, which is cool in and of itself. What we have on this HD35, is a European spruce top done with Martin's vintage tone system, which means it's been torrified. That's paired with quarter inch scalloped bracing. We have an ebony bridge with infinity hexagon inlays on the wings. We have a bone saddle. We have an abalone rosette and herringbone purfling around the entire outside. Now you'll notice something special about this herringbone purfling. It's actually mother of pearl herringbone purfling, which is so, so cool. I hope it looks good on camera because in person it looks really, really cool. The back and sides are very special. The, the wings on either side are wood called cirrus and the wedge in the middle is East Indian rosewood. And the sides are cirrus as well. And cirrus looks to me like a rosewood basically with a little bit more figuring and a little bit more porosity. It's more porous. And I feel like it acts just like an HD35 but visually it's quite striking. The neck is made out of mahogany with a low oval profile. It has a performing artist taper. The whole body is bound in ivoroid, as is the fingerboard, which is made out of ebony. Infinity hexagon inlays on that fingerboard. An inch and three quarter bone nut. The neck is full gloss. The headstock overlay is ebony with Martin inlaid in abalone and Chris's birthday inlaid right beneath the Martin logo. The back, we have 50 style waffle back tuners, which since Chris Martin was born in 1955, the tuners are a fitting match. So with all that being said, this is just a really cool HD35. The HD35 has always been one of my personal favorites and to see a special model made is really cool. So I'm gonna give it a play so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> All you have to do to get the Acoustic Guitar Buyer's Guide is sign up for the Acoustic Letter. You can click the link below or visit AcousticLetter.com forward slash join. Once you're signed up, you will never miss a review and it's the quickest way to get pricing and photos on all of these instruments. Now if you happen to be interested in purchasing this instrument, head on over to AcousticLetter.com where you can see it along with hundreds of other guitar reviews that I've done. Thanks a lot for checking it out.